Hello, this is Sunil. In my previous video, I've demonstrated how to create AWS bucket and how to ship a local file into AWS bucket. In continuation of my previous video, today I'm going to demonstrate few features on Snowflake like creating a database, creating a schema and creating a stage and file format. Afterwards, I'm going to query my S3 file without loading that into any table. After logging into your Snowflake account, click on databases and click on create button. I wanted to create a database with a name called MySnowDB. If you'd like to add some comments to the database, you can and then click on finish. I have successfully created a database in Snowflake. Once a database is created, you can click on the database and you can create a schema under the database by going to a schema tab and then click on create schema. Then I would like to call my schema as my schema. Again, if you would like to add some comments to your schema, you can do that and then click on finish button. Once a schema is created, you can go to stages and then click on create stage. Snowflake supports three different external stages. Those are AWS S3, Microsoft Azure and Google Cloud Platform. So right now my file is in AWS S3 and then click on next. And then I would like to call my schema as, I'm sorry, I would like to call my stage as my S3 stage. And then I'm going to give path from my AWS bucket. So I've created my bucket with name Z AWS bucket. Remember, in order to connect, create a stage that connects to AWS bucket, you need AWS key ID and AWS secret key. You can get those credentials from your IAM admin. Once you enter your AWS key ID and secret key, feel free to add some comments to the stage and then click on finish. Once a stage is created, you can go to file format tab and then click on create file format. So I would like to name my file format as my file format. And I'm going to create my file format under the schema called my schema. And the format type of the file format is CSV. And the column separator is comma. And I'm going to leave the rest of options as is. And I'm clicking on finish. Once I create a file format, I'm ready to go ahead and query my S3 file. So I have all the essentials that are required to query my file. I need a stage as well as I need a file format. I'm going to my worksheets tab and then I would like to see whether my databases and schemas and stages and file format that I've just created are existing in my Snowflake or not. So I'm going to execute show databases and there I could see my SnowDB and then I'm going to see my, my schema as well and I'm going to see my S3 stage that I've just created. Also, I'm going to see my file format that I've just created. Great. Now, I would like to create an external table that points to my AWS S3 file. So I have my create table statement ready. You can initiate a external table creation by executing a command create or replace external table and I would like to name my table as my table with, my lo with the location pointing to my stage and the file format of that is same as the file format which I've just created. And I would like to add some few more parameters, optional parameters to it, like refresh on create set to true and then auto refresh as a true. I'll make another video on what are these essential parameters. Those are not mandatorily required, but I would like to keep those things just in case if any new files added to my S3 bucket, I would like to automatically see that new files in my table without any delay. Okay, go ahead and execute this command. Okay, I've successfully created an external table. Remember, this is my external table. I've not loaded my S3 file into any table. So go ahead and query my table that I've just created. All right, you could see the data that's coming off of my S3 file. However, if you look at the each row, it's in JSON format. I wanted to read this data in a readable fashion. So you can write your query like this so that your columns and your data would make more sense. Give me a second. All right, I think I, I know the issue. When I created a file format, I forgot to check one checkbox. I forgot to skip the header. So if you go back to your databases and then if you go back to your file formats, click on the file format, click on the edit and then make sure you 
make this to one because my file contains a header in it. So now go back to your worksheet and then try to execute the query again. There you go. Now you could see the data inside the file. So here is a file that I had in my local folder, which I have shifted to AWS S3 bucket. And then I've queried that file from Snowflake without loading that file into any table in Snowflake. Thank you for watching.